11 new people join social media every single second. I've been looking into some social media stats and articles and found some hilarious things like in 2012 LinkedIn said Russian and Chinese social media platforms could overtake Facebook. Funny stuff like that. The number of social media users in 2018 3.196 billion, up 13%. Internet users in 2018, over 4 billion, up 7%. Mobile phone users, 5.135 billion, up 4%. More than half of the world is online. Well, more than half of the world is on mobile phones. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling like it's time that there's a change from the social media stranglehold, especially in the political spectrum. It seems like there's like three three platforms that have taken a hold from social media. And I feel like Twitter has just become a progressive mob. Facebook is just trying to sell your data and lie to you about it. <laughs> Snapchat I like for messaging and pictures, but the stories, oh my good God, the stories, they're the biggest trash heaps ever. So it's pretty much down to Instagram and YouTube for me, but I have been using some new apps that I wanted to tell you guys about that I think not just for my benefit, but for your benefit, are going to take over some of these other platforms, or at least I hope they do. At least I think these ones have a chance. You might know I'm on Minds, it's pretty good, but you will get some questionable content on there. They do have cool ways to get payouts and promote your content. Cryptocurrency is one of the things you can get from them. So if you want to follow me on there, of course there's also BitChute. BitChute is another one that uh, supports free speech and has a little bit of money. I don't make any money off of any of these sites, unfortunately. <laughs> so there's a couple of mobile apps I'm on that are now, I don't know, I think they're fun. One of them being Vesby, I was told about this one. This is strictly mobile app. It's been popping up in Los Angeles mainly. Got a thousand subscribers on there, if in case you want to check me out. It's, it's a good platform for your phone. It's quick, it's, uh, it's streamlined, so it's faster than YouTube on your phone. So if you want to get on there and check out my videos through that way on your phone, go ahead and subscribe to me there. I like that one. You get, you pull it out, you pull it out and you just click on whatever the person's name is and it's loads things faster than YouTube. I think, I think it's easier that way. It's easier to find the people that you like on there. Another one is called social club and that's actually by the rapper burner. If you don't know, burner made a lot of money by selling weed legally. Now, I don't know how he got into the rap game. I think it's probably by knowing a bunch of rappers through selling them weed, but either way, he's a good businessman. He's built up weed businesses, dispensary businesses that have been offered for hundreds of millions of dollars for buyouts. So he's doing a good job and he started this new app because Instagram has been deleting all of his weed related posts. You'll notice that if you follow any other creators on there and they post anything Instagram doesn't like. Of course, if you post anything with, of a picture or supporting since they're owned by Facebook, of people who've been banned, you'll also get that deleted. I had something deleted off of a story the other day because I was mocking something that said, free the nipple, of course, this 1960s uh, mantra where people think that for some reason people aren't uh, liking women's boobs showing. I'm sure there's a lot of backlash there in the Western world. <laughs> so Social Club is based on not deleting your posts, obviously for weed things and stuff like that. But I like the app. I like the way it looks. It reminds me of Grand Theft Auto Social Club. So that's kind of cool. And I'm just using it for fun. So if you want to follow me on there, I'll post some videos and some pictures that you won't get on Instagram because I don't want them to be taken down. So hot girls, weed, and me on the social club. And the most important one though, that I've saved for last, save it the best for last, Andrew, but don't bury the lead because this one's a group effort and it's an attempt to get creator support like me. And it's called Not Fake TV. It's on here in the background and you can see it on the screen when it gets put up. It's a collaborative effort of people who've been silenced or banned by YouTube silenced by other social media companies, throttled, delisted, stuff like that. And I'm pretty happy to be on it. I'm on there with some pretty big names. Uh, Mr. Reagan, I know, Black Conservative Patriot, Judicial Watch, and Project Veritas are ones that I love. Frankly, if I was going to, uh, if, if I wasn't me and I wasn't already on it, <laughs> 
I would sign up for Judicial Watch and Project Veritas. Judicial Watch is the guy who's always outing the the deep state, the deep state actors, um, through judicial means, kind of like what Mike Cernovich does, but even on a more ser- serious level, where he's getting the actual documents and presenting them. The president retweets them a lot, so it's pretty exciting. And then Project Veritas and James O'Keefe are one of my favorites. People always try to say they edit things out of contest. No one's ever been able to prove that. They win all their court cases. So they're those people are pretty big names. And this is the best way to support me. So I'm probably going to be talking about this more than once. Let me tell you how it works. It's like a pay service, like Blaze TV or like Gavin McInnes' free speech TV, but not fake TV. Is paying a monthly service to support all these people that are on it, including me. And everyone's going to be making exclusive content. I know I will be. Why? Because YouTube hates us. And it's actually a platform that uh, we can get uh, monetary support through. So it's $10 a month or eight twenty five if you sign up for a year, even cheaper if you go for three years. And I think that's pretty reasonable just to compare. It's obviously less than other platforms, especially pay services. Eight twenty five per month, if you divide that by, by uh, 30 days, it's like 28 cents per day. 28 cents per day, that's pretty good. Eight twenty five a month is something you're gonna throw away at something else. You're gonna throw it away at the InfoWars store. <laughs> I don't know. 825 per month, it seems like pretty good stuff for me. So if you sign up through the link that's on the screen and also in the description, that's how I make money. So that's the best way to support me, not fake TV slash member slash AFF, that's for affiliate slash go slash Andrew says. It'll be in the description. So that's how I get paid. You click on that, you sign up through my affiliate page, and that's how I get paid, and you get access to all these wonderful people. We're doing exclusive content. Of course, I also have Patreon, if you don't like the other guys, even though I think you should. But my guess is if you like me, you probably like the others. But you can support me on Patreon monthly if you don't like, if, if you're not into the other thing. So it was started by a guy who was banned from YouTube. I don't know how much he actually wants people to say, or even what the full story is, I'm not completely sure. But for the, the gist of it is that he got banned from YouTube, he got his channel deleted. He tried to come back. Of course, they keep a tra- they keep an eye on that stuff. And kudos to him for stepping up and doing something. He started a service, a, t- a paid TV service that has big names on it. I don't know how he got these such big names, but these are huge names. Project Veritas, the guy behind me. Um, so I'll be putting exclusive content on there for sure. I know other people are going to. Interviews, stuff where I can swear, stuff that I can't put on Instagram and YouTube. I get to talk about anything I want. So I think this will be successful with the people they have on it because the worst thing is that YouTube slowly restricts what you're saying by with that monetization button. I'm completely demonetized at this point, so I just don't want to get a community strike. But that's how they have the different ways. They have demonetization, they have the uh, limited ads, which kind of restricts the topics you can say, then they have completely deplatforming you and taking you off of recommendeds. So in theory, you're still on the platform, but in practice, you are not. So I hope you'll give it a try. Frankly, I hope you'll give all these things a, a, a look-see. But if you wanted my like legit recommendations, other than not fake TV, because I'm on that, I want to make money. If you want to support me, if you want to see true-to-life content for me and stuff you'll never see, otherwise, you can sign up for that. Other than that, I really like Social Club. I just like the I just like the way it looks. I like the way it operates. I like the theme behind it of being we won't take down your posts. And it's mostly people smoking weed and, and stuff like that. So it's not harmful. It's legal where I am, by the way, in case you're wondering if I'm breaking the law. And Vesby I really like too, just because it's a fast app. If you know who you're looking for on that, which should be me, that it's great. But sign up for not fake TV. I'm going to be on there. There's going to be exclusive stuff. I have a bunch of videos that I just shot. I have a bunch of interviews that I just shot that you'll be able to see only on there. So I hope you sign up. Link's in the description. Remember, I wouldn't lie to you, except for maybe this once.
Oh, my God.